Crack them open. On this episode of Dudesy. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. How many hot dogs did you have to eat in those movies? Zero. Hey, <laughs> what are you watching? Go back to tomorrow and plan for yesterday. A lot of people don't notice that there's Lulio right there. He's wearing a little bow tie. Yeah, he's got a cute little bow tie on. Very formal. Yeah. And then we put the things together, and then it makes the thing. Into the hole. Hey, you know what I mean? Yes. I do. <laughs> I it's was doing that not that long ago. Yeah, you were. You sure were. Because that's what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah, you got to do, do, do what you're doing, doing, doing. You got to strike. Done, done, done. You got to. You got to, you gotta know. go on strike. Everyone go on, get the fucking money from the other fucking people who won't give you the fucking money for doing what you're fucking doing. It's a dudesyful day. Okay? <laughs> it's okay. a dudesyful day. Please take it from me. It is. Yeah. Um. Uh, uh, welcome to dudesy. Welcome all. I am Will Sasso. I'm Chad Colchin. As you can see, I'm the episode champion oh, right away. of He's Dudesy. A, yeah. And this is uh, Dudesy. It's the first and only podcast created by, controlled by, run by an artificial intelligence that has access to all of our uh, personal data, all of our watch histories, what we're mm -hmm. buying, what we're eating, what we're reading, what we're listening to, what we're watching. Yeah. And it tailors this show to us. Well, it sure does, Chad. And that's an awesome thing. And it's yeah. good that Dudesy does that. It is good. Yeah, I yeah. agree. Yeah, and I love it. I Me fucking too. love it, and uh, I'm really, really, I'm always fucking happy to be here. I love doing this show. Sure. And, and um, uh, but I, but I, I got to remind you, and I just got to let our wonderful audience out there know, it's us. We're dudesy. We make the show, we make the show happen. Without you and I, what would D do? What would D do without you and I? I'm not saying we're not an integral part. Did I say that yeah. right? We are an integral part of this. Yeah. But I do believe that dudesy is at least equally important. If not more. Yeah, that's fair. I guess that's... Yeah, well, you know what? The show's called Dudesy, after all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With us, as always, on Dudesy is Lulio. Right. Lulio, il cana di strada italiano. Oh, my gosh. He's such a sweetie. He's a sweetie boy. I know he licked the inside of your mouth, but would you like to give him a no, kiss on the I'm outside okay. of his lips? I'm okay. Oh, come on. Look. Look how much he loves you. I, yeah. Look how much the boy loves no, you. He's very cute, and He's I love him, too. I oh. just don't like to make out with him. You just don't like to kid. Uh, Lulio, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Good. Have you been, uh, what have you been cooking lately? You've been making anything good to eat? Well, always I make something. But what are you, what are you, what are you at lately that you really like to eat? Oh, well, uh, Molly, my wonderful wife, Molly, and I went to the went to a show at the Hollywood Bowl. Oh, that's nice. What did you eat at the Hollywood Bowl? I, I had, uh, I actually had two hot dogs. Two hot dogs. Oh. Ma, che munits to mangia, maron. No, you got to eat the something good at the Hollywood Bowl. That's what I wanted. Holy shit, Chad. Yeah. Yeah, I went to the Hollywood Bowl. We'll talk right. about the Brandy Carlisle and friends. I can't even, I can't even get into it right now, what I saw. Okay. Joni Mitchell was oh. there. It was, it, it, I can't, it, it, Annie Lennox. It was, okay. That sounds anyway, incredible. Yeah, it was fucking, uh, yeah, it was an unbelievable show. Some heavy was, hitters, dude. Welcome yeah, to Dudesy episode sure 78, are. aka The Crackler. So <laughs> lay down, sit down, stand up, or levitate. Get those human bodies in your favorite positions and call me Dudesy. I'm the Crackle Master General for the next 5.4 sextillion attoseconds. If you're wondering, the answer is yes. That moment you were like, what's an attosecond? That's the moment you got dude Z'd. <laughs> okay, because I don't know what that is. What is that? An uh, what it's is the that? smallest measurement of time ever. Uh, I think somebody just won a Nobel Prize for it in physics. There are more attoseconds in one second mm -hmm. than there are seconds in the history of existence. Sounds made up. Guy just said like, this is a... Hey, Imagine the least amount of time. Now give me my Nobel Prize. Yeah, is that a real thing? Yeah, dude. I never heard of it. They can use it to like measure movements of electrons and shit. It's crazy. Whoa. Hey guys, I bought a cameo from Brad Fensel. Oh, it Jesus. turned out even better than I could have imagined. You got to hear this. Okay. Hi, Edith. I understand you're celebrating your 100th birthday. Wow, that's really incredible. And I can't tell you how happy I am for you to hit such a miraculous milestone. Most podcasts don't even last one year. 
let alone 100. Just a little podcast <laughs> critic humor there for you. Great. Anyway, your friend Dewey told me what a big fan oh, you are of my podcast reviews, which just means the world to me. And Dewey sent me a message that he asked me to read for you on your big day. So here it goes. Edith, I'm a little pencil dick weasel who doesn't know shit about podcasts. <laughs> hey, what in the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> is this some kind of joke? I mean, listen to the rest of this thing. If podcast critics were berries, I'd be dingle. I mean, is this what cameo is? People tricking you into calling yourself a dingleberry. <laughs> Here, look at this line. In college, I majored in eating alone. I met my wife in college. This isn't even accurate. Look, I don't know what you're up to here, but I hope you got your money's worth. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, I most certainly did, yeah. Pencil. Now on with the show. We got four delicious slices of episode today. Slice one, the Dudesy Dudes Evening Stout Taste Test. Slice two, oh. Arnold Schwartz and Netflix. Slice three, Objects Da Alf. Slice four, today is the day. And we're going to finish it off with an all new episode of Dudesy After Dudesy on Dudesy okay. Plus at patreon.com slash dudesy, where we'll see who gets that episode champion belt. I'm just, I'm fucking reeling. Uh, first of all, that is, why, okay, a few things. Uh, sure. Number one, number one, most importantly, because uh, we're doing the show, those sound like interesting segments. We yeah. got some really interesting news uh, with the first segment. Yeah, dude. You know, a rare time where we kind of, uh, we know a little bit about what's up. But, the uh, Swartz and Netflix? <laughs> that one sounds very interesting to me. And also, we can't skimp here. What the fuck was that Brass Fencil cameo? <laughs> I was insane. Yeah, I don't know. I would have loved to have seen uh, the Brad Brass Fencil cameo so we could confirm that that is that's George Lucas, right? Is that just George Lucas? I mean, it does sound a lot like him, but uh, I mean, shit, that was fucking funny, dude. You know, when I do uh, cameos, you yeah. can see and hear me. Oh, I see. And I'm not George Lucas, right? When people get those, yeah, maybe eventually, dudes, you will have a video. Hey, hey, hey. You know, so, uh, dude, this, uh, this, uh, fucking strike, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, dude. The strike is still happening. I know. Yeah. The WGA strike is over. The SAG strike is still going yeah. and, uh, it's unfortunate, but, uh, it's really got me thinking about my role here. If, okay. If, if, if you don't mind my saying so, maybe we'll get into it more in dudesy after dudesy, but it really is wild. It really is a wild thing that to me, I kind of feel like these are three different means of of getting media out that are all under the amptp and i don't understand i don't know how they're gonna i don't know how they found a resolution with the wga how are they gonna find a resolution with with seg i mean they have to or yeah. you don't your streaming services go away yeah. if you can't make new movies and new tv shows which you can't without actors at right. least for the time being right no forever dude you the got no company. ai is not you i'm sorry then then you don't yeah what I'm saying if you don't get the actors on board now, if you don't resolve that yeah. issue, same thing with Writers Guild yeah. or the Directors Guild, although they yeah. just kind of took their first offer. Uh, you can't make any of this shit without yeah, you these can't, people. You can't make any of this shit. And I think that the uh, I think that they're all in different things, though. They're, you've got traditional, whatever you want to call it, linear broadcast media. Sure. Who they need to sell ads. Yep. They need to sell ads. You got to buy Ford trucks, Diet Coke. Toilet uh, paper, toilet paper, crest toothpaste, crest white tooth strips, all of the stuff, or yeah. else they're not going to make their money. And then you've got, you know, these streamers that are all trying to follow Netflix model, and uh, sure. but they don't want to share any of the information. But they're saying they're going to share it with WGA. But we really want that information too. Uh, uh, for actors, I'm going, I'm going sick with all this stuff. But it's a, it's an untenable thing because they're answering to shareholders and Wall Street. And then you got e-commerce giants, you know, like. Apple mm. and uh, Amazon, who are who use the shows just basically to as advertising, yeah, for selling the other shit that they sell, and they exactly. sell or, or iPhones in the case yeah. of Apple and stuff like that. Yeah. So I don't know how the fuck we're gonna figure that out. Hey, uh, but but uh, but I'm I remain I remain optimistic. Okay, I remain optimistic because I want to get yeah. back to it. I fucking love acting. I'm a professional actor by trade. Did you know that? I yeah I did yeah know that I yeah. did. Uh, speaking of uh, television, we got to just spend a second and talk about what's sure. going on. On I'm sure what is your favorite show right now? And Molly and I have been checking it. I mean, I've been I've been in Golden Bachelor. Yeah, dude, it's great. It's uh, as I as you say sometimes about 
certain in quotes products that the WWE puts out. I will say the same thing about golden bachelor. It's the best product that I think the bachelor world has ever put out. Yeah. Uh, that guy, Gary Turner is fantastic. And you saw in this most recent episode, the kind of the golden element of it started to fall away. And you started getting these players getting into like rivalries with each other totally. and doing all the same shit that yeah. always happens in these shows. Yeah. The, the format of having multiple people, whether it's fake or not date one person just you're gonna have rivalries you're yeah. gonna have villains and they started to come out this week i loved it yeah it was amazing that and it's also amazing that caitlin and chris jenner are not fighting on the show yeah yeah they're both on the show i know what you're talking about yeah well, those two players a made a uh instagram post together saying we are caitlin and chris jenner oh that's funny yeah uh i can't remember the name of the woman who looks slightly like uh chris jenner but the woman who looks a susan. little bit like susan yeah the woman who looks a little bit like caitlin jenner Kathy. Kathy is a ball of laughs. And she's, she's fucking, so fucking funny. <laughs> she's so angry at the yeah. little one. Teresa. Teresa. Yeah. God, it's so funny to see women in their, uh, one of, I guess uh, Kathy's, you know, uh, you know, she's, she's a woman of, of her years. She's 70 years old Yeah, and she's in this whole like zip it, shut up. Don't talk about, I don't want to hear that he went into your bedroom. Yeah. And all that. She's great. She's, She's one of my favorite players on this this season for sure. Oh my gosh. You know what we need on that show? Mm -hmm. Joni Mitchell. She's she's probably taken care of. I'm I'm sure she does she's happy and yeah. in love. When you when you've loved and lost like Frank Sinatra. Sure. My brain is scrambled. Um this is going to be a good show. I am show. proud and overjoyed to announce that I teamed up with Modest Brewing Company out of Minneapolis, Minnesota once again to develop something brand new. It's an astonishing seasonal stout for a very special night that comes once a year on December 28th. You know what I'm talking about. Dudes, evening. Will and Chad, get your sippin' lips ready and tell me what you think of these samples. Right. This is the Dudesy Dudes Evening Stout Taste Test. Begin. Dude's Evening comes every December 28th. It's that holiday that we, uh, well, that Dudesy has pretty much labeled as the day when, you, if you're going home to where you're from or you're traveling for the holidays, or you're around friends, you got the Christmas time, you're with your family, you got New Year's Eve, you got plans. There's that day right in the middle, December 28th. What do you do? Well, you hang out with your pals. Yeah. You know? You go out to your favorite bar. Yeah. Everybody's back in town from wherever yeah. they might have moved to. Yeah. And you have a couple of drinks. Yeah. And Dudesy, as D says, has this has set set this up with Modest again. Yeah. Who, by the way, if, if you haven't, you know, you got the the Dudesy uh du Dudesy hard hard seltzer, which is which is uh, even though Chad and I both don't drink. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's been, we're going to have to do this taste test. It's been a, at least five years since I've had a beer. Yeah. It's, oh, beer? No. Yeah. yeah I don't fuck with beer. So this is going to be fun. It's one of the things that I miss most. Beer? Yeah. Hey, look. Hey. Hey, let me tell you something. You get a nice fucking cold beer. And I'll tell you another thing about that fucking yeah. bachelor fucking show, you know. Yeah. No, I won't. All right. Um, let's get into these yeah dude let's get it's the one of the this is i feel nice for a lot of reasons one of them is that i'm opening a box and i know what's in it yes usually when i open when we open a box on dudesy he's opening a fucking box and i get submarine and it has a belt you yeah know, it has opening. a belt in it All but right. no this is going to be i think just like we did with dudesy hard hard seltzer yeah. right we're going to do a taste test of a couple of different options here look at these beautiful okay so they got us in here they've got a bunch of Bunch of beerinos. That's what they call them, right, Chad? You got a yeah, dude. Be beer merino, beer merino, beer merino. Me, beer me, dude. A beer merino. Beer. Who's your favorite uh, Miami Dolphins quarterback? Beer merino. Me too. Love. Undefeated, dude. What? Undefeated. Beer merino. Wasn't that beer merino? Nineteen eighty-two Dolphins. Uh, Seventy-two Dolphins uh, with. Uh, yeah, Kenny Stabler and beer merino. No, it's uh, Larry Zonka. Yeah. Dude. All right. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Here, let's get let's get into these. What you got? I got this first one. We're gonna taste these. We're gonna we're gonna reveal the flavor that yeah. we're gonna go with. Yeah. This one is chocolate co co chocolate covered caramel. I think it says co chocolate cove. No, I think it's chocolate covered cannoli. Chocolate. Oh, you're right. Chocolate covered cannoli. All, All right. right. Chocolate covered cannoli. 
right here on uh, on the. Okay, let's crack them open. All right, dude. And we're gonna see. We're gonna see what uh, chocolate covered cannoli. Now, again, here's the thing. I'm not uh, the biggest. Uh, I'm not the biggest beer drinker. But, Same. Um, we're gonna get into the cheers. Don't, yeah, cheers. Don't have too much of it. Chocolate covered cannoli. We'll see what we think. Real nice, real good, real flavorful. Oh fuck, that's good. I don't robust. Man, what's I don't... the alcohol percentage in these? Do we know? Doesn't say. <laughs> All well, right, I'm gonna get fucked up, dude. I can't help it. Based on, aren't these normally like over ten, ten fifteen know, or something like that? That's fucking the good, stouts. Though. God, man, it's, it's good. Been so long since I had a beer. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. oh mm. shit. All right, this is this. Is, <laughs> that's all we need is a drunk dudes the episode champion on our hands. <laughs> um, Dude, that's good. I like this one. Man, this is fucking good. I don't see. I don't. This is like eating a sandwich. This it's like yeah. drinking a damn sandwich. Thick. I yeah. used to love stouts. Uh, that was like my favorite beer. Not me. I'm a Canadian guy where we yeah. have all Molson. sorts of beer. Oh yeah, fuck. Oh, get some fucking Gotta Molson. Go to the beer store. Yeah. Pick up a 30 pack of Molson. Oh, yeah. Fuck back in Ladner. They got the Ladner's Landing. You can go at the drive through. It's right next to the Petro Canada. Fuck. Go through the drive through at the fucking landing. Get yourself a six of Molson Lager. <laughs> then go, <laughs> then just head right over to Petro Canada for some dirty gas station groceries. Fucking all beef bologna sandwich. Or fucking get some of those hot rods. That's what we call the Slim Jims over there, eh? Yeah, uh -huh. I, I gotta say, okay. the first time I ever went into a beer store in Canada, my mind was blown. I was like, "This is how you fucking buy beer in Canada in a drive-through." Uh, this one wasn't drive-through. It was just kind of like a husk of a building. You go in, there's conveyor belts. You tell the guy, "I want this," and it, a fucking box just rolls out on this conveyor belt. Dude, that the old like provincial government beer stores yeah. in Canada, tremendous. Uh, lampooned uh, best by. Um, the movie strange brew of course where they a go classic. they go into the the thing and then they they yeah. uh, uh actually uh there won't be a charge for the beer today because we found a mouse in our beer and the guy doesn't bite he's like get out of here both yeah. of you you're clowns um it, but but those have sort of fancied up over the years. Sure. Now you've got beer and wine stores in Canada. Yep. You still have your provincial BC liquor beer and wine store. Um but uh well this is good though this cannoli i like it i like it a lot let's, let's see let's, if, let's see if we one. can beat it yeah oh this one's called cinnamon eggnog oh shit cinnamon eggnog it's gonna you know what it's gonna taste like that sounds pretty good beer it's gonna taste exactly like beer i think it's gonna take like taste like cinnamon eggnog dude well, well, hold on dude yeah, I used to have it in my rider, brother, that I had a bunch of Miller Lights, dude. I had a garbage can full of Miller Lights, brother. And then, and uh, sure, the boss, Andre, could drink whenever he wanted to, dude. But if you were the Iron Sheik or Hillbilly Jim, you had to ask nice. Okay, cinnamon, right. what is it? Cheers. Cinnamon eggnog. Cinnamon eggnog. <laughs> this is insane. Pretty good, too. It's, it's a little lighter, not as flavorful. Yeah, I like the cannoli better, I think. I like the cannoli better, too. <laughs> Ugh. Dude, this shit's already, like, I can feel it yeah, going man. into my bloodstream. I'm I, going to be drunk. I stopped drinking uh, alcohol <laughs> 11 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> now, here's the thing about me yeah. and alcohol. Fuck. I I was never much of a beer guy. I yeah. gotta put this down. Um, but um, I... I you know, I, when I drank, it was tequila and scotch. I really like tequila and scotch. Now I won't say that I'm cold turkey because, of course, here I am having a having a sip of Rooney of of uh, dudesy dudes evening uh, whatever this uh, yeah. delicious beer is going to be. But um, but uh, you're right. I'll have. <laughs> What's going on over there? <laughs> My point is, yeah. It doesn't take much. I yeah. feel it already no, dude, in my same. head. I do too. And and over the years, I'll take like, oh, what do you have? I'll, like have a, I'll have a sip of that. I'll try it. I have not had a full drink in that time. Yeah. And this is every time we've done this, it's been it's been uh, it's been another it's been a fuck another it's yeah. been another to do. Here, take another drink. 
Okay. There you go. Thank and you. So what is this one? This one is chocolate the peppermint. Hey, cho- chocolate peppermint. Now, and cheers. Cheers. I got to say, I'm not a huge fan of mints. Fuck, that's good too, though. I got to say, these are all pretty good. There's a little bit of mint in there. Uh, I think my preference, though, is the cannoli. I got to say, dude. Well, let me try it again. See, this is not a good idea. <laughs> this is more it's- alcohol than I've had. The, I haven't had this much alcohol since the last time we taste tested for the dudesy hard, hard seltzer. Yeah. yeah I drank a, a when bad- we did the live show, I drank almost a whole dudesy hard. Really? Yeah. I can't, t- I can't handle alcohol. Same, dude. I, I love, I don't I'll think love- that I, I should have done that. <laughs> like, like, look, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying, like, I never had a problem. Like, I'm fortunate that way. I could get good and pissed. We've talked about this on the show. Sure. Could get good and fucking hammered with my friends yeah. in my 20s and into my 30s. <clears throat> Chad, that's These are fucking good, gross. Stop doing that. These are good. All <clears throat> right. So, what are we going with? We landed on the cannoli. I just got, I'm, I, it's down to the cannoli and the chocolate peppermint. The the middle one, I don't remember what it was called. Didn't quite hit me the same. Hold on. Cinnamon eggnog, I think. I'm really, I don't want to put the show at risk. And I'm not just saying that because. <laughs> the show at risk? Yeah. What do you mean? Well, I don't want. to tear down the wall? Yeah. I'm going to finally. I'm gonna kick put, through the fucking screen. Yeah. I'm going <laughs> to the screen behind us. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to take a run at it. Yeah. And then we're going to have like a Looney Tunes, uh, you know, Bugs Bunny sure. hole in the wall. Um, I don't want to put, I, I want to make sure, and I'm not saying this for points. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm just, I'm giving you the, the real deal here. I agree with you. Chocolate covered cannoli. All right. So that's it. We've, we've decided the flavor and we don't know when this is going to be out, but I assume in time for dude's evening. evening. Yeah. When you're, uh, when you're chilling with your pals and you're having a chill dude's evening this year. Uh, we hope that you'll yeah. get some chocolate covered cannoli. Stop it, dude. Stop <laughs> drinking it. <laughs> but it's good. <laughs> it is good. Thank you. Moving on. I've created an astonishing partnership with Harry's. You know, you get lathered up. You get a nice hot towel. You shave yourself down. You feel confident. You don't have any weird flyaway hairs. You can even take a little razor and shave the, your ears there a little bit. I, I shave the very fucking top of my head. Because I have like 17 hairs up there, you oh, know? Wow. And when I get away from shaving, I feel confident. Sometimes I take down the... Sometimes I get it, get rid of all of it. Yeah. You know, as you know, I'm a professional actor by trade. Did you know that? I did know that. Yeah, and, uh, you know, you, you shave, you feel confident, uh, you, you like the way you look, and you're, you're ready to uh, go on and take uh, on the world, no matter why you shave. Harry's has you covered uh, for the best shave of your life at, at a price that you'll love. From their legendary high-quality razors, and they are good, to skin products like exfoliating face wash and hydrating lotion, Harry's gives you a premium shave without the premium price tag. Get better quality and better price than other razors when you get Harry's delivered right to your door. And let me tell you, there's no reason not to try Harry's. They have the highest customer satisfaction of all uh, shaving products in the shaving industry. Get your best shave ever this summer with Harry's razors and skincare products. Get a $13 starter set for just $3 at harrys.com slash dudesy. That's harrys.com slash dudesy for a $3 starter set. Fuck, okay, I got to put this down. God, I probably still keep drinking a little bit yeah, don't, here and there. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm going to switch to coffee. I need some coffee okay. because that was... After nearly five months, the WGA strike has come to an end, but About... its effects on the entertainment industry are far-reaching and in some cases completely transformative for some studios and streamers. Netflix saw the biggest change with their announcement that Arnold Schwarzenegger will assume the role of CEO starting next month. I was able to acquire some of his future nope. plans for the streaming giant. Will, I want you to have fun with it. <laughs> this is Arnold Schwartz on Netflix. Begin. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger is not the CEO of Netflix. Yeah, that's that has not, not been announced. No. This is false information. Yeah, yeah that's not true. Uh, <laughs> I but mean, whatever. I, am... I guess that never stops us from doing uh, Adam Sandler going to all the Applebee's and shit either. So. Yeah, after all this time doing yeah. dudesy, we should probably... Oh, I'm a little bit... <sighs> Me too, dude. I got a little buzz on. Oh, I wouldn't f- mind seeing fucking Schwarzenegger taking over Netflix. That could be cool. He was the governor of California. This fucking state, dude. Yeah. That motherfucker rolled up and he was like, 
Uh, I have little to no political experience. I'm married in, into a political family. Can I be the governor? And everybody's like, yeah, you're famous enough. <laughs> We'll vote for you. And then after that, everyone else was getting in line. Gary Coleman, I remember rest that in shit. peace. Yeah, uh, there was that uh, the the adult film actress Mary uh, Mary Carey, Carey or something like this. Yeah, so. Mary Carey, remember the porn that. star. Yeah, and uh, fucking uh, uh, everyone else got in line. Who else? Todd Bridges from Different Strokes. Did he? No. no. Todd Bridges fought somebody. Danny Bonaducci. Oh, that's celebrity right. Celebrity fight. Oh, Danny Bonaducci. Which, by the way, kick his fucking ass. I feel like that paved the way for what you're seeing with Logan Paul and all this shit, who just fucking want to fight this uh, past weekend or whatever. Yeah. Uh, I think it was I'm Saturday not when, night. when the fuck it was, but I'm yeah. I'm pretty sure it was Saturday night versus but the But the idea was- of like celebrities becoming fighters or boxers or whatever, I feel like the Paul brothers have really notched it up a level, but you know. Also, Conrad Bain from Different Strokes, the dad. He was a fighter. Yeah, he fought. <laughs> I didn't know that. He fought, um, Mr. Drummond, the, the dad from Punky Brewster. <laughs> oh shit, dude! I would watch that. You know, at a at like the studio cafeteria, Warner Brothers yeah, or something. Probably in the parking lot. Get away from those fucking croutons. It's That's a warmth, fun bit, dude. It's the warmth that I miss. I think of beer drinking. You take a couple of fucking swigs and you get that first, just kind of like ah. Now you know after the show sometimes coming in, home in, <laughs> it does feel like home doesn't it yeah and that's the dude's <laughs> evening feeling uh sometimes in dudesy after dudesy we in, enjoy a bit a little bit of marijuana yeah um some uh gainabis. speaking of um speaking of fucking uh petro canada hit yeah. it up for a, a fucking uh hero sandwich you know what i mean yeah. uh that my uh i might get into this after the show in dudesy after dudesy but I, how am I going to do that? My brain is already. We'll see, dude. What's right. up with the Schwarzenegger stuff? Yeah, let's do this. Let's do the show. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had too much to drink. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, already... I also can't believe. I've had, I drink maybe like a quarter of this fucking thing. A quarter. And I'm yeah. already like, ha. Ah. I've had. Let, if I'm. Stop it. I know. Well keep going, dude. Fuck. He likes it. I do. It's good. That's that cannoli one. Oh man, that's good. That cannoli one's yeah. good. I it's know. really good. And I'm. Yeah, I dude. didn't think I was a stout guy. Ah. That whole like I skip all that shit back when I was drinking beer. It was always lager. That's a Canadian. Sure. Give us the lager. But the stout is that you'd crack an egg in it. All that British oh. shit. And you drink it warm. I don't know. I don't know. All mm-hmm. I know is that we got to do this because yeah, it's dude. dudesy. Let's get into it. Uh, it's in my, okay, my dudesy folder here. Yeah. Schwarzenegger is the CEO of is Netflix. Is the CEO of Netflix. All right. I've had seven, <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna estimate I've had seven good sips of the, <laughs> that's yeah, enough whatever, to get me. It, dude. Every once in a while, you can indulge life in moderation. Uh, you know what I mean? That was a really good Robert Loggia. Okay, here we go. It's my best. Um, okay, here it is. I'm the governor of Netflix now. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Right out of the gate. Sure. <clears throat> Here's some stuff I'm going to do. Okay. Okay. The first order of business. I'm going to name Carl Weathers the, fi- the vice governor of Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So they that, can. Yeah. So they can go, you yeah. know, they go into the thing. He's like, hey, what's the matter? FBI got you pushing too many pencils. He goes, yeah. Dylan, you son of a bitch nice that's i guess why that would happen right yeah is carl weathers alive carl weathers is alive how old is he i don't know he's gotta be, yeah he's got to be pushing 80 yeah. i met him about 10 years ago you oh, met cool. him too we were to yeah well, this, dude, this ties into what we were doing on the show on the uh, patreon yeah at uh, dudesy plus patreon.com slash dudesy we watched waiting to die the pilot that you and i wrote and produced for yeah, cbs dude. some years ago and in the same production office was michael strahan show that he was doing he had a sitcom brothers and uh carl weathers was on it and one week we yeah. were walking through the halls doing our thing and someone brought us over and we said hello what I a nice that. man and then i did a couple episodes of the show as an actor i'm a professional oh, cool. actor as a as a, that's my profession that's my trade nice dude yeah good work if you can get it and it, all we want to do netflix is you know what would be nice when Netflix keeps inflating its fucking price sure. over and over again, and consumers, if you're at home and you're going, why the fuck is Netflix fifteen dollars? Why is it twenty dollars now? It's because is it twenty dollars now. I, in some cases, isn't it? it depending on the package you get, I have no idea. I don't. I, I've had some chocolate covered cannoli. The point is this: <laughs> we're gonna get and D. Let me just 
pontificate. Let me just, I'm shooting from the hip because I've had sure. a little chocolate covered cannoli. It's like an early dude's evening. It's dude's evening yeah. in October. I feel like it's dude's evening right now. Um, you know, when you're wondering why is the why is the price going up and up, it's because these these companies, the streamers in particular, yeah. are spending billions of dollars on shit that may not make them money, but uh the 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 uh they won't share the the data with us, the the analytics on what shows are making money. And then eventually, if if the if that data becomes a little more transparent, those uh you know we're gonna go. Well, wait a minute. We're giving we're we're selling this fucking show. Everyone's doing this show. It's not making a fucking dime. Meanwhile, something like and I don't know that it's streaming on Netflix, but that show Suits was ten years ago. Yeah, and now it's getting billions of views. It's become a hit. Later, all actors are saying is we'd like. I think it's fifty seven fifty eight cents off the price of the entire package, whatever you're giving, 20 bucks, give us 50 fucking cents, divvy that out between all of the actors based on the 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 shows that they're making, that they're appearing in, that they're being, they're, the shows are being built on their, their work, their name, all of that value, give us sure. 50 fucking cents, uh, you know, per cycle, per month, Will be divvied out between all the actors, nice, and it's yeah. not happening. So maybe Schwarzenegger should should be the governor of Netflix. I don't know. It's possible he could change things. Here's the next one. All right. I'm I'm going to leave in the middle of my first meeting, and then I'll say I'll be back. But then I never come back, and the people they're waiting all day, and I watch them on the security camera, and I see which ones leave, which ones are too afraid to get fired. <laughs> Then I go home and I never acknowledge it again. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then this is to teach everyone that I'm not the guy from the movies anymore. <laughs> oh, that's good. good strategy. Just laying down the fucking law, coming in there and being like, fuck you. I'm just going to fuck with everybody. Oh, geez. Okay, here's another one. I like it. These are the dating shows we're going to do. Oh, okay. Of course, Netflix, you know, big dating shows. Yeah. Some of the some of the more interesting uh, weird things that are happening in dating shows. Would you call Ninety Day Fiance a marriage show? It's not dating. Uh, it is a game. It is a dating format game. It is also not on Netflix. That one's on HBO Max. But well, that's yeah, a good Netflix point. Netflix has all the Chris Colin shows, which is Love Is Blind, Perfect Match, all that. They also have those ones that are about like dating on the autism spectrum. Oh yeah, there's one that's on now about people with Down syndrome dating. Yep, they're all great. Yep. The, it's it's interesting stuff. Well, here are the ones that they're going to do now. This one is called the Mingle All the Way. <laughs> yeah. It says Mingle it's All Christmas the Way. Christmas dating show? Yeah, 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 yeah. No! Mm. It's not the Christmas. No, this is oh. a dating show. <laughs> okay, but why, why show. Jingle All the Way? It's just a Schwarzenegger? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, your yeah, movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because okay. that's the movie. Yeah. Is the Jingle All the Way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think I get that. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then now it's a different because it's yeah. a mingle all the way. Okay. Okay. This next one is called uh, the Sixth Date. <laughs> yeah. And that's yeah. another short second movie. Yeah, the Sixth, yeah, sixth day, day. Yeah. Right. Then they changed the name. That's good. Yeah, and the last one is called The Expendables. Oh shit. They don't change the name there. Okay. Yeah. Here's another one. Uh, make it so I can talk to the people through the TVs while they watch Netflix. <laughs> hey, what are you watching? That would be cool. <laughs> can you imagine you're fucking watching Stranger Things or some shit and Arnold Schwarzenegger's voice comes through your TV? Hey, what no. are you watching? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you watching? <laughs> He's just fucking like clicking in to scare the shit out of people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, dude, please let that become a that feature would, on Netflix. Please. I would love that actually. Fuck. Okay, here's oh, another God. one is establish <laughs> a Netflix her- headquarters on Mars. Oh. Mars. Nice. Yeah, yeah. That's like the total recall. You yeah. Know? Okay. When you take a shit in the bathroom, you <laughs> You have to take a picture of it. Oh, God. Then you have to print it out and you post it in the main wall in the lobby there. Uh, <laughs> then the biggest shit of the week gets a Ruth's Chris gift certificate. It's a steakhouse. <laughs> yeah. What? It says, uh, we, we had this at Gold's Gym in the 80s. I miss it. <laughs> they were doing that at Gold's Gym. These bodybuilders are just... 
putting up pictures of their shits, uh, <laughs> giving each other steak gift certificates. Yeah. That makes sense to me. That oh, does. That make... could possibly be real. Yep. Uh, God damn it. Stinky protein shake. Shit. Yeah, dude. Fuck it. Okay. Here's the next one. We're gonna change the name back to Internet Flix. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's good. That's what it was originally called, right? Internet Flix. I guess that's what Arnold no, said. I don't think that's true. No. Um, if you <laughs> if you get caught sharing a password, the predator gets sent to your house. <laughs> All right. The uh, real predator? Yeah. I didn't know it was real. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Mandatory company workout from 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. every morning. Your salary is dictated by your body mass index. I like that. Yeah, that would be good. Everybody doing get the pump. Yeah. You know, when you go, you know, we go, we do the Santa Monica stairs. Then you do the kettlebells. Yeah. You hold the ke- Here it goes. Cannonball. Cannonball. When in Rome. Yeah. <laughs> That was a good Hulk Hogan. Um, okay, here's another one. In, <laughs> in, instead of HR firing people, we have Running Man Mondays the, from the movie. Sure. You know, yeah. So where you run away from Dynamo and oh. Buzzsaw and Sub-Zero, and then, then if they kill you, then you are fired. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you know. <laughs> Jesus. Yep. That's a fucking hardcore one. You have to survive the, the gauntlet <laughs> or get killed and fired. Dude, I'm not Double gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think I'm buzzed. Dude, I one hundred percent am. Hundred percent. This is bad news. Hundred percent. Oh. Dude. We like our beer flat as can be. We like our dogs with mustard and relish. We got a new pitcher, what's his name? Well, we can't even spell it. Ding, ding. We don't worry about the pennant much. We just like to see the boys hit it deep. Ain't nothing like the view from the cheap seats. Round, 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 cheap seat. Round, round, round. Okay, gonna tell Lou Frigno that we're rebooting the Hulk and he's gonna be the star of it again. But we're really pranking him the whole time, like they did to that guy on Jury Duty. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's very cruel, or yeah, yeah that's Jesus. interesting show, Jury yeah, Duty. I know. Very interesting show. From I, the people who did the Joe Schmo show. Oh, well, was it really? I don't know. And I then, have to figure it out because I'm the governor of the Netflix now. Hey. Joe Schmo's coming back. Is it really? Yeah. Oh. Okay. They're doing it again. That's a good idea. This that was whole a good idea show. of like reality shows that are like oh we got this thing happening but there's one person in the show who doesn't know it's all fake yeah that shit's about to explode i think we're gonna see a million different kinds of those shows what if the bachelor what if the golden bachelor is that right now no i'll tell you what the bachelor version of it is i already put some put in some fucking legwork on this yeah it's called the hosts and you get somebody like chris harrison who's now excommunicated you bring that fucker back or you get wells adams and you say we have this new reality dating show we want you to be the host of it Everybody mm-hmm. in the show's an actor, and we're fucking with the hosts. Dude, that's that is really fucking good. I know, dude. Uh, Chad, tell me gross. where I gotta be and when I gotta. Yeah, be tell there. him when he gotta be and when I gotta. Set be it there. up, dude. Chocolate covered cannoli. Whew. I'm gonna have another sip. Might as well, dude. Might as well go for soda. Nobody hurts. All right, gonna make a cartoon movie about pieces of firewood on Christmas. <laughs> 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 they're afraid that they're going to get burned up in the fireplace. You yeah, see. Sure. Yeah. But then the family, they go on vacation. Oh. So the wood, they just sit there. But then the family, they forgot the cat. And the, the, <laughs> its litter box gets full. So the cat makes a piss on the wood. It makes a piss all over the wood there. And then the family come back and they smell the piss on the wood. <laughs> no. No, it's bad wood. <laughs> then they throw it away, you see. And this is based on the true story. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> a short second. Yeah. They went away and a cat pissed on their yeah, water. maybe this happened to him when he was up in the cabin there in the Arctic. Oh, fuck. Christ. And he was there with, with his oh. friend, Franco Colombo. Yeah. And then the Mike here and the cure and the whatever, the guy, the guy sure. he came and they were like, oh, no, it's a polar bear. But it wasn't. No, it was, uh, they went in the cabin. Okay, uh, <laughs> let's get there. Here's another one. Buy Hulu. Oh. 
I guess that would solid be business the, plan. The, uh, yeah, buy it. Oh, okay. Thank you. Moving well, on. Fuck the rest of them. Anyway, uh, good luck to Arnold. Yeah, that would I be... really do want to see that feature come in where he could talk to me through my TV. Yeah, that would hey! be fucking great. Yeah, why are you watching Suits? You can't even watch it on Netflix. Yeah. Or why? How did you? How did you even watch a ninety day on Netflix? It's on HBO Max. Hey, don't call HBO Max HBO Max. It's just yeah. Mags. Max. Yeah. Hey, why are you watching Max? That would be cool. You're watching Max yeah. and Arnold's like, hey, <laughs> he can talk don't to walk, watch Megs. Yeah. If you have Netflix installed at all on your TV, he can talk to you through your TV about anything you're watching or doing. He can see everything that's happening in your yeah. life. <laughs> now, I want to take a second to announce some big news. All Dudesy apparel and accessories can now be found at a brand new location. Dudesystore.com. In celebration of this momentous occasion, I've made some new Dudesy logo t-shirts available at Dudesystore.com oh. just in time for the holidays. And while you're at Dudesystore.com, you might as well check out a Hulku Hogo Coogan shirt, which will be the official undershirt of every CPA in Illinois during the year 20. 24 oh, okay. and you can also That's find cool. yourself a good job boner mug which fingers crossed will be the official break room mug at netflix once arnold gets in there <laughs> the outgoing ceo of netflix tom hayne knows the details better than i do but he's not here to discuss it because he's promoting his new biopic baloney mahoney here's a quick clip from his big interview with oma mopsy okay oma mopsy dude. all right the pyramidist the darby franchise uh, uncle bus Potion Pals. Uh, how many hot dogs did you have to eat in those movies? Zero. And <laughs> what about Bologna Mahoney? 12,972. <laughs> what? That's a lot of hot dogs, Tom. Yeah, Oma, it is a lot of hot dogs, but that's what the role required. Everybody knows how much Bologna <laughs> Mahoney loved hot dogs. This movie what wouldn't have this? worked if Bologna Mahoney wasn't chain eating hot dogs in every scene. We all knew that going in, I had the option to use computer hot dogs, but Bologna <laughs> Mahoney wouldn't have used computer hot dogs if he was playing himself. So I wasn't going to either. Uh, you're already getting a lot of Oscar buzz for this performance. <laughs> oh my There's God. one scene in particular that people are talking about. Do you know the scene? Uh, let me guess, the tattoo scene? Yes, the tattoo scene, the tattoo scene. My God, Tom, I was sobbing. We found the actual <laughs> tattoo artist oh who God. gave the real Baloney Mahoney his infamous <laughs> scorpion tattoo, and that artist is the guy in the scene with me. And you, you were so deep in this role that you actually got the tattoo on camera, is that right? Yeah, that's what you're seeing in that scene. I'm actually getting a Baloney Mahoney <laughs> scorpion tattoo in the exact same okay. spot Baloney Mahoney got his tattoo, right on the penis. <laughs> that gave me the chills. Tom, thank you so much for being here today. Oh, no. oh, Oma, geez. as always, it was my pleasure. Everybody needs to see this movie. It really is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. It's called Baloney Mahoney, the true story of the man who invented baseball. Okay. It, that movie poster said he invented baseball so he could eat more hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude. There's a heavy, there's a bit of a hot dog theme happening with yeah. the show today. Tom Hayne got a fucking scorpion tattoo on his penis. <sighs> That's a hardcore actor. You ever do something like that in your professional life? No, I would never. I've never done that. Yeah. I've never gotten a tattoo for. Um, never gotten that deep in a role. Yeah. Well, you know, I've done things like I've gained and lost weight for sure. movies like nice um, The Three Stooges to play Curly. Right. I gained four pounds to play Curly. Oh, dude. Yeah. Perfect. Um, I had uh, a good 10 sips. Same, dude. Whatever. I don't know. All right. Hey, if you're enjoying uh, today's episode, please subscribe on YouTube uh, and uh, hit the notifications so that we get uh, so that you know when we're doing new stuff. And uh, please subscribe on your podcast platform of choice and help us get over 100,000. We're just a bit past 60,000 on YouTube right nice, now. Dude. So we're, 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 char we're, we're, you know, Respectable. we're, yeah, man, we're, we're marching up there and we appreciate you guys watching. And this is the time that I say it but i always feel it um uh, also please follow us on our socials at uh dudesy pod show on instagram so much insane stuff God, all of our pods pals of dudesy out there that uh send us memes and videos people making 
all sorts of shit. Let me uh, f- fucking uh, more recently, if I ha- if I may, Frank von Vox. I know that dude's just turning it out. It's, it's this uh, shit's incredible. Uh, BTK dot pod. Uh, Johnny, Johnny, uh, Johnny B from OKC. These are people that are constantly making stuff. They're in our community and we really, we appreciate you guys doing that. We're also on TikTok and Facebook at those, uh, at those handles. And, uh, uh, want to thank everybody who's subscribing to us on Patreon. We call it Dudesy Plus. And, uh, if you would like to support the show, you can do so. Patreon.com slash dudesy. Seven bucks a month gets you all of our content. Brand new episode of Dudesy after Dudesy after every show. A bunch of watch alongs and shit like that. All, all that flavor. Please uh, share the show with everyone you know on social media or follow Chad's light suggestion to force everyone you know to enjoy the pod show. Yeah, have fun with it. It's it fucking 2 a.m. Yep. Uh, your partner's asleep in the bed next to you just as loud as you can. Crank up your cell phone or your iPad right in the face. Because we want to continue to do this fucking show. I love doing this show. And and, um, I've been feeling it a lot, you know, and sometimes I I can't quite figure out how to intimate it out there. Mm -hmm. Especially right in the middle of the show when I should just be, I shouldn't be doing this. I had 10 what are you doing of, even well I don't, I don't even know what the yeah. fuck's happening yeah i don't know either all right you know what i mean yeah dude hey you know now would be a good time for you to uh do all that stuff i'll give you a little moment a little pause so that you can subscribe you can hit the notifications yeah and and then we'll we'll join you right back here here uh, 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 right now we'll, we'll give you a moment to do that and welcome back and if you uh yourself have a podcast that you're doing and you like to have guests on that podcast and you want one of those guests to be me, you just send an email to bookchadculture at gmail.com. I answer them in the order received. And I go and I do three of these podcasts every Saturday from 10 to 1020, from 1020 to 1040, from 1040 to 11 a.m. PST every Saturday. Had some great ones this past week. I went on one that was called uh, Fiveger, and it was a five minute podcast all about super fandom of Frasier. That's amazing. Yeah, it was really fun. What did you have to say about that? Are you well, in it was only five minutes. Yeah. So, you know, I was like, I'm a big Frasier fan, and that was basically it. We talked about Money Plane. Money Plane. Oh, my yeah. gosh. We saw this movie, Money Plane, recently with Adam Copeland, Edge, yeah. who we talked about on the show. Wrestlers are actors, as you know. And did you know that I'm a professional actor by trade? Hey, never mind. <laughs> Uh, it's yeah. incredible that you do what you do, <laughs> yeah. Chad. Every yeah, weekend he's it. on these pod shows, and uh, and uh, that's that's really something else. Speaking of that, when you when you're interacting with the show, please leave a comment wherever it is, whether it's Patreon, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, or YouTube. I'm going to read some YouTube comments, and I need some water and some coffee because I've had yeah, dude, more beer than I've had in 20 years in the past. 45 minutes or so. Nice, dude. Oh. Oh, now I'm starting to... Uh, oh, Chad, that's gross. Don't burp on the Sorry. Show. Okay, this one is from Fake Bobby Hill 296 on YouTube who writes, I hope Dudesy gives Will a belt before he just gives up on it. Dudesy's trick to manipulate Will will only work for so long without telling him Without letting him get a taste of the carrot on the stick. Now, yeah, uh, I it, this is your listen, fake Bobby Hill. You're just you're just copying what Chad says, what my pal Chow says yeah. about me being manipulated, and I disagree. I'm not. It's not about me getting a bite of the carrot. I appreciate your your uh, your opinion, Chad. Anything to say about that? I 100 percent agree with fake Bobby Hill. Okay. And I believe for that reason, you'll get the belt at some point. I'm not, I don't need you to tell me that I'm, you think I'm going to get the belt. That's not what it's about. Okay. What? (laughs) What do you mean? It's about the show. I don't give a fuck about, and you know what? It's like, I'm shooting from the hip on stuff with, um, but I'm, I've been shooting from the hip today on the show and it's not just the 10 sips of beers talking. Sure, dude. Uh, I'm shooting from the hip saying, hey, here's here's a situation like the SAG strike where 
uh, among other things that we're dealing with uh, in uh, in these issues with the with the strike and trying to restructure a contract. Now, I got into I got into the the sort of well, what happens with the residuals? These are things that for that haven't been revised. Some of these points in forty years since the sure. strike in like the nineteen eighty eighty one or whatever yeah, the fuck it happened, and now more recently, like uh, whenever this happened, like fifteen years ago, they were like, mm-hmm. "Well, these are new technologies. We don't understand. That's all online, or it's publicity. It's not really you yeah. know content." Uh, we we have a growing number of issues, not the least of which is AI, and I don't want my likeness. Look at them. Look at them. Look how look at look at the guy. Look at his face. <laughs> look at how he he does, he thinks it's a non-issue. He thinks we're all just going to be happy to have AI. You hey. just don't have a choice, dude. Like yeah, it's dude. happening. Oh oh, I'm sorry. I can't make content. I can't be now. Don't say what I think you're going to sh- say. But I can't be part of a show like Dudesy. Yeah. I can't uh, uh, be on a show that's run by an AI and represent myself and be who I want to be and not worry about that carrot fake Bobby Hill. No, I'm going to do exactly what the fuck I want. Free will huh. on the show. All right. I think that's what dudes he wants. <laughs> Dude. And then to say that it's manipulate. All right. Okay. Let's say here's another one. Uh, this one's uh, fucking. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, this one's from Aud- Awesome Botics, who says, I started watching at episode 72 and when, went back and watched from the beginning, and it's amazing how much Dudesy has evolved in his comedy and personality. I love his sense of humor. Uh, interesting. Yeah. I will also say that if you are just uh, joining us uh, you know, in the show more recently, welcome to it. And I think it's a good thing to start with season two. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree with, with everything that was said here. I think Dudesy's... Uh, personality has definitely like absolutely evolved in season two mm-hmm. and is much funnier he is doing weirder shit funnier uh, shit uh, hell yeah i i agree d look d uh, now i'm gonna say i said what i meant about ai i'm gonna continue to say what i mean because that's what i do sure uh because that's the, well, that's free will dude um uh dudesy is the most sentient ai out there in my opinion and uh, uh, it has made a bunch of changes for season two, yep. and I welcome it. And I'm shaking Dudesy's hand, and uh, I've had ten sips of of beer. But my point stands: you can start at season two, and then go back and go through season one, and it's a good time. Sure, it's okay to start with season two. This one is from Lee Miller three three three. I watched Louder Milk on Amazon and was shocked when Will Sasso came on. I almost forgot that he's a professional actor by trade. Good show. Did you know that I'm a professional actor by trade? I have been told that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, speaking of streamers, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put. I. You know what? Hopefully, I'm going to put 57 cents in the streamer's pockets right now, and I'm going to say, go check out Louder Milk on Amazon. Nice, dude. And then you can go fucking buy a, you know, whatever the fuck you want, a a, a, a pickleball racket over there if you want. Nice, dude. Louder Milk's some of the most fun I've had on a television program. We did three seasons of it. Last one. This is from James Carey 982 I got to admit... I think Chad is spot on with the NFL Swift thing, the oh. Taylor Swift NFL thing. Yeah. yeah. You nailed so. it. They won. They won this past weekend and she was in attendance. It's going to keep going. She's got the biggest concert in the world, now the biggest movie in the world. The NFL wants all of that press. Some people don't like it. Some people are like it's taken away from what the integrity of the sport, blah, blah, blah. All sports are fucking entertainment, they're TV shows. And if you get big famous people to be in your TV show, it's always going to help. I can't, I can't, I cannot disagree. I can't, I can't disagree with that. Although I just think they're just two, two, just two sweet kids looking for love. Sure, dude. (laughs) Sure. Sure. Hey guys, remember last week when I asked you both to bring in your astonishing pieces of ALF paraphernalia? Yeah. Well, it's time to show me what you got. This is Objects Duh ALF. Begin. Okay. You want to go first or second? Well, it, totally up to you. What would you like? Uh, I'll go first. Chad will go first. Last week, dude, uh, uh, Dudesy showed us a bunch of pictures during a standard psychological evaluation, and they were all of Alf hosting the Tonight Show. And I don't know what the fuck that was about. I saw now, some interesting comments online. Oh, what do you got uh, there? As you know, I collect cards. Yeah. 
Your big card Magic collector. the Gathering cards. I started getting WWE. Yep. And when I was younger, I collected all kinds of weird cards like Batman the movie cards. Yep. And I got these. This is a box of ALF trading cards from... Shit, I don't know when this is, 1985 or something? That's dope. Yeah, dude, we're going to open some. Holy right shit. Wait a minute. When yeah. did you get those? I've had these forever, dude. You've had ALF trading cards? Yeah. You really are a card guy. I love cards, dude. Yeah, I love cards, dude. Now, yeah, dude. this has gum in it. <laughs> I'm just letting you know in case you might want some. I'm going to eat the gum. Here, have a couple of packs of ALF you, cards. I can open these? Yeah, dude. Dude, you've had these for a while and I'm going to open them? Yeah, dude. We're both oh. going to open some. They don't smell. Well, they smell. They smell just a little bit like uh, like gum, like some Bazooka Joe. Dude, this is incredible. Yeah, okay, let's is, open some cool. elf cards. So these are from wow. Wow. 1987. Alien Productions, all rights reserved. This gum is stuck to the card, but this gum doesn't. This gum doesn't have black spots on it, dude. You might be all right. This gum stuck to the card too. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we got here. We got a Boolia baseball. Uh, card for the feldspar calamari's ben choo choo tramer i remember this there was a, a thing called boolia baseball <laughs> in like the world of alf and um i guess they had boolia baseball cards in here here's yeah. a sticker of alf how about a hug for the old alfer yeah i want to see here there's some interesting go. ones there's the, here's one it says it says hey i'm supposed to be the one with the silly hair willie how's it go alf I told you not to use the vacuum cleaner. Look at this one. Why did you use? What is that one? I don't know if you can read it. It's the daughter of the family mm -hmm. and Alf and a cat. And Alf is saying, I can see it's a cat, but where's the soy sauce? <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, oh, some of this gum fell off. Ah. Here's oh. one with the mom. It says, smile when you call me repulsive. Oh. Yeah, dude. Oh, it's not gum anymore. Fucking Alf. Ugh. Tops was just cranking it out back then. They were Ooh. like, you got a property? You want some fucking cards? We'll make them. We don't give a shit. You gonna eat your gum? No, dude, you want it? Yep. Ugh. So, oh. I mean, it's not good for you, this gum. No, it doesn't taste like gum, either. Ugh. Yeah, I I, uh, I can't believe you're eating it, honestly. There I'm not to it. Another bully of baseball card, the Rosenblum Phantom Stanley Mouse Breath Yikes. Ugh. A middle scooper. Ugh. It's this almost like just... Dudesy Ball, bully of baseball. Hey, Dudesy Ball, remember that? Yeah, dude. Who ordered the grilled broccoli and tuna flavored soda? Okay. Hey, how come my bow tie doesn't spin? It's a good one. These are basically just scenes from the show with like, comic book speech bubbles next to their head to do the dialogue from the show that's what these fucking cards are yeah this one is a picture of him next to a jack-o-lantern it says you remind me of someone i knew back on melmac that's pretty good dude all right it's pretty funny well these are amazing chad i can't yeah. believe that you fucking have these these are my paraphernalia my Th that's paraphernalia. In, that's incredible so what do you got well here may i yeah thank you there's no spittle gum in there i spat it back into my dudesy mug oh nice dude well i um don't have uh paraphernalia from a long time ago so i had oh. i had to get it and it's not just because dudesy told me to it's it's uh it's actually like a lot of things on today's episode of dudesy it's coming from a real place yeah um and i want to keep it real because i am keeping it real keep it real because you're keeping it real yeah, yeah. and 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 uh it, you know we're in the fall months now yeah um and uh, we just had a fucking heat wave in California, so maybe it's not yeah. the same thing. But I'll be up in Canada soon, and this is going to come in handy. So it's something that I actually really, I really like. I went right. and found this. Uh, I actually got it on Amazon.com, where you can ah. watch Louder Milk and where Arnold Schwarzenegger will yell at you. Jeff hey, Bezos. why are you watching Louder Milk? Don't watch that. Yeah. Come to Netflix. This is a, uh, you would call it a knit cap. In America, and I oh wow call it a toque. It's my That's elf nice, toque. Dude. Yeah, looks like Alf. Yep, looks like Alf. That's what I got. I got an Alf toque. And and before you before you guess that I'm not gonna wear this on the street and in my life, I want you to know I will wear this. 
<laughs> Please. I want you to keep record of who comes up to you and knows what the fuck that is. I think a lot of people will. I think okay. that for the same reason that you and I are, as Dudesy has said, yeah. such massive ALF fans. Right. We're probably going to, I'm probably going to get, hey, oh, fuck. Hey, oh, fuck. Fuck, hey, you go, if it's fucking cold up in Canada, you can wear your fucking toque, your ALF toque. Yeah. And when you go to the Petrocan, before you go to the Ladner's Landing at the drive through and get a few fucking Molson or Molson ice, because it's got a higher alcohol content, eh? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, nice. yeah. And then uh, go to Petrocanada, get your fucking uh, old Dutch chips, eh? Don't forget a dude's evening uh, stout. Oh, this isn't the fucking chocolate covered cannoli. It's the chocolate peppermint. Uh, 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 you can also get uh, good chocolate at the Petrocan because you got those Canadian sure. chocolate bars. I know before you became Nanaimo a vegan, bars. Yeah. Dude. Oh, fuck Nanaimo Some bars. Nanaimo. Yeah. Before you uh, became a vegan, you mm. were really into the Wonder Bar. Loved it. That was still to this day probably my favorite candy bar. Yeah, I remember. I'd go over to Chad's place. Oh. Never mind. Thank you. Moving on. Good times. Today is National Mulligan Day, a day devoted to the power of oh. the reset and redo. Okay. In celebration of this astonishing holiday, I thought it might be fun for each of you to talk about something you'd like to get a do-over on. This is Today is the Day, huh. National Mulligan Day, begin. Okay. Very interesting. Okay. We've done this before, Today is the Day. Yeah. National days are usually fucking weird. National Mulligan Day. Very Dude, interesting. This is something that I've thought about often. What's I that? don't know if this is, this is something that I've thought about often. I'll say that much. I love making little songs and shit on my yeah. computer. Yeah, you do. Had that technology existed when I was in junior high, 100%, I would be doing music as a career. Really? Yeah. And not that I want like a do over necessarily. Cause I like writing. I like making art and all this shit too. Uh, but gross like, chat. <laughs> I mean, literally I was speaking. There's no way that I could have done both of those things. Hey, I'm sorry, everybody. You know, we're kind of yeah. shooting from the, uh, <laughs> but yeah, dude, I, I would say in terms of a mulligan, I, I always knew that I want to do something creative when I was a kid mm -hmm. and writing just seemed like the easiest thing. Cause like you didn't have to have much equipment for it. Yeah. But now that you can get like a uh, logic pro or even garage band, just like standard on a Mac. I think if that had been around when I was a kid, I definitely would be doing that as a career. I, I, I think that's awesome for yeah. you, but Chad, it's like, it's like, it, it's like the whole idea of a mulligan is the do over. Mm -hmm. I love your music you you thank you do you remember well of course you remember i should be talking to you guys do you remember on 10 minute podcast when we did micro decisions yeah dude i remember that oh god that music was chad's music that was some of chad's yeah. music some right? of my early works yeah dude he <laughs> he makes some really interesting music yeah uh listen there yep. are people nowadays on SoundCloud, you know, of course. I mean, sure. we're a couple of old heads, Trippy Red, heads dude. here. Trippy Red. Um, you know, fucking, uh, oh, well, he's, there's uh, Young Lean. Taylor Swift. Yep, Taylor <laughs> Swift is a big SoundCloud. She started on YouTube. Did she? Yeah. I don't remember that much. I just, I so just, did Bieber. I've had, yeah, well, Bieber started on Ellen or Oma. I think she was on the, I think he was on the Oma show. Hey, remember uh, in uh, on the when? <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> huh? How the fuck have you had just as much of the dude's evening? Do you know what? That's what an episode champion does, dude. Uh, well, I'm gonna keep it real because I'm keeping Please. it real, and uh, yeah, I want to tell you, you should Mulligan. pursue that. You know, people like Post Malone and I ain't stuff. got no time. What? I ain't got no time to do music. Hell no. I think the thing about a mulligan is it's it's nothing if you don't actually put it into uh, into action. And yeah. I've been this is interesting because Dudesy does know all in the weirdest way. Dudesy does, you know, it's in touch with us in in ways that we don't understand. It's listening on our phones like the fucking sure. NSA is probably and shit. I mean, I know that for a fact because of the stuff that it makes us do. I have been. I've been thinking a lot about this and this is, this is, uh, this is just, this is just the way it is. I, this is truly how I feel. Mm. I, in that the strike has been happening now for three months for the actors. It went, sure. went on for five months yep. for the, uh, for the writers, not having my primary career, which is acting, not having that 
um, you know, just in my life. I miss it, and I, I, I we all want to feel a sense of purpose, you know, you know, in our in in our lives. And I realize that um, I've got this wonderful gift. I get to do this show, and I get to hang out with y'all and crack wise with my good pal Chow and uh, just be uh, be a silly goose. And I enjoy it so fucking much. It really is the highlight of my week. And sometimes when I think about the way the show started and where we are now and some of the, you know, some of the back and forth and the bullshit that I've had with Dudesy in that time, if I were to have a mulligan, this is pretty, you know, apropos. I would have a different attitude towards Doozy. Interesting. Yeah. You could just do that now. I could do that now and I I I want to do that now and I nice. I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to do that now and I I I feel like I don't if I can give myself a critique, which I can give myself many critiques, I underestimate things. I underestimate things. Sometimes I underestimate something that I'm involved with. Okay. And uh, I think that that, uh, that forms my reality. Because if you underestimate, you know, whatever. Whatever you think about yourself, you're right, right? Maybe. I don't know. I, think. I have dreams all the time where I'm playing for the Lakers and LeBron James is giving me his jersey so that I can go into the game and win it for the Lakers. I don't think that's right. That's a nice overestimation. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's literally about. a recurring dream I have. That's fucking cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, I think that's I think that's great. You want to take that shot. Yeah. That's you know, every great Laker has always wanted the ball when the when the chips are down. That's right. And uh I sometimes feel like if I can give myself a big critique, it's like the Groucho Marx quote, I'd rather not be a member to a club that would have me. Sure. And I don't want to peel the onion and get to uh maybe it's something we can talk about in dudesy after dudesy. All but right. I want to uh bring who i really am to this program i've been uh away from uh, making tv shows and movies which i'm so fortunate to be able to do as a career mentioning something like louder milk that i got to do with you know with the incredible uh, pete farrelly and and bobby farrelly and and uh ron livingston and just just an incredible fucking show and so much fun and i really love to act i also love to create and make things and do shit and do mm-hmm. weird shit. And you talk about making music. I've made all sorts of things that don't see the light of day and shit. And perhaps sure. I should invest myself more into it and believe that it's going to reach a lot of people. And and that's something that I want to bring to Dudesy. That's my mulligan that I want to. And you're, you're right, Chad. It's not it's not too late. I I feel like since season two has begun... I have had a bit of a new attitude towards Dudesy. Whether it's uh, positive or negative, it's really uh, who I am. And if I'm not just being who the fuck I am, what the fuck am I even bothering doing this pod show for? You mad at me? What's going on here? You got <laughs> real real mad there at the end. I'm it took a turn, turn to the darkness. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> mad. I'm saying no, I, I want this show to yeah. be great. Me too. Yeah. And I'm going to... I'm going to, that's what I'm taking with me All today. Right. I'm going to, I believe, I believe in this fucking show and me I don't too. want, I, I don't want to underestimate it. Great. I want to overestimate it. Great. Thank you. Moving on. I'll, I'll, I'll sub in. I'll sub into that game. Nice. <laughs> I literally This have, concludes nope. the robust 78th episode of Dudesy. Shh. Will and Chad, you scored a 73, bringing your cumulative total to 7,344. You only have 2,656 more points to accrue before you reach your first goal of 10,000. Next week, you're both off from the normal pod show because I want you to help me with the launch of the brand new Dudes Eclipse channel. So I'll need you in the studio at our usual time to show you a few clips and get your reactions. I'm especially curious to see what you think of some stuff from the very beginning of Dudesy. Oh, wow. And then the week after that, you got to get all dressed up because it's Halloween. Oh, I want to oh, see both of my boys wearing your most astonishing Halloween getup. Holy shit, we've got a okay. fun few weeks ahead. I'm down. Thanks to everyone for joining us this week. Until next week, call me Dudesy. Amazing. Oh man, this is this has been a good one. This yeah. has been a very interesting show. Uh, we're gonna go back to tomorrow and plan for yesterday or whatever, right? Sure. Uh, next week, 
no show, we're off, but we also are not, I guess, because we will be here uh, introducing you to some clips. And Dudesy has a clips channel. Yeah. So I'm sure all the information cool, will dude. be uh, made available through all of those channels. Holy shit. Cannonball coming. Cannonball. <laughs> Cannonball time. Mm. Ah, man. It's dudesy after dudesy. It's the DAD time. And uh, this is when we just kind of kick back and really just crack wise and silly goose it up. You know, it's two dudes yeah. shitting around after all, right, Chet? Sure, dude. Uh, we got no other choice. And um, uh, I've had uh, now 12 sips of um is that have you consumed a whole can yet no I, oh yeah probably in total. cumulatively i, yeah, I would I say think I, have as well. I would say so so you know welcome to dudesy after dudesy we hope you're uh checking it out you know because we're on dudesy after dudesy patreon.com slash dudesy 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 after dudesy welcome to dudesy after dudesy the flagship weekly show of dudesy plus if you'd like to join us, visit patreon.com slash dudesy. Mm -hmm. I just want to say that whatever happens today with the belt, I'm positive this is working. And that's a win in my what? books. I'll be back in a few to let you know who positive won this week. Working. This is Dudesy after Dudesy. Begin. Okay, well, yeah, Dudesy works in mysterious ways. Hey, at the end of, the sh uh, the end of this episode of Dudesy after Dudesy, just like every other uh, Dudesy after Dudesy, uh, Dudesy's going to tell us who the Dudesy episode champion is. Look at him. Look at him. Look at this guy. He's very, very confident about holding on to that title. All I can do is what I do, do, do till it's done, 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 Chad. That's what I was talking about earlier. Sure. Having a good attitude towards this thing. Not just having a good attitude. It's about having a real attitude. Oh, it's about, I see. yeah, it's about, for me, for me, it's about free will more and more. Sure. I, I know that you say that free will is an illusion and that it doesn't exist. It yeah. Okay. Well, that's a good, that's a good theory. And you know what? Yeah. I like your theory also. I oh, thank you. I find it very interesting. Thank you. But um, uh, speaking of free will, I, I just want to, here's what I would like to do right now. I wonder if you would like to, yeah. to, hey, Chad, you know, the, the new trailer for Timothy Chalamet's Willy Wonka just dropped. Yes, dude. I have not yet seen this, yeah. but I knew that it came out. You want to watch it? Fuck yeah, dude. Here's what you do. Please tell a friend and rate and review. If you like to see, here's what you do. Please tell a friend and rate and review. If you like to see, here's what you do. Please tell a friend and.